First day of 17th grade. It's gonna be awesome. Got my man purse saddlebag thing, Bob. Because that's what professionals do. They wear, they carry these things. No more backpacks. That's all right. All right, let's do this. Have you ever felt like you don't have enough time, like, have you ever had one of those weeks where I felt like I aged 20 years, but I also needed 10 extra hours every day? I don't know how that works, but that's what happened. First week of medical school, yeah, hit me like a ton of bricks, let's just be honest. So every day is slowly becoming more clear about how much work this is going to be. i got to step up my game if I'm going to be able to do this. Lectures and labs. In the morning we have lectures, in the afternoons we have labs. We're going over anatomy, we're going over histology, which is like cells and tissues. And we're also going over <clears throat> uh, ethics, things like that. Pretty cool, actually. Some of the things we're learning. About eight hours a day we have labs or lectures. And then the rest of the day, we're studying. That's what we have to do. And that's what I need to keep doing. Like We have our first test is next week. It goes pretty quick. But something cool that we're doing is that we have our dissection labs. So our muscul musculoskeletal section involves dissecting the back muscles. Here's just a pretty typical dissecting kit. We have scapulas, forceps, scissors, things like that to help us be able to, you know, get through the muscles, get through the skin. Uh, also, if you're curious, it can also work on peppers and, you know, cook them up. So anyway, we're going through the back muscles and to help you visualize this, here is me. And you know, hey, if you get the lighting just right, it makes you look like you have good muscles. Don't be fooled. There's more flat back there than muscle, let me tell you. We started by reflecting back the skin, and we're dissecting the superficial muscles. These are the trapezius, the latissimus dorsi down here. And below those we have the rhomboid major and minor and the levator scapula. And all these muscles kind of act on the scapula to like rotate it, elevate it. And below those we have some more muscles that help you know, keep, keep your spine erect, help you turn your head, things like that. And it's been pretty cool actually to be able to go through the muscles and be able to learn them, learn their innervations, see veins and arteries poke through them. But yeah, so like I said, our first test and all this stuff is next week. They go full throttle in med school, let me tell you. Whew. Anatomy, dissecting, really cool. Uh, some other cool things that we learned this week. One is called the triangle of auscultation. So you know when you go to the doctor's office, they have the stethoscope. Hey, let me feel your back here. Yeah, yeah, breathe in, breathe out. You know, that kind of stuff. What they're actually looking for on, their, on your back is your triangle of auscultation. So your trapezius, uh, latissimus dorsi, and your rhomboid major, they, they don't cross each other in a certain triangle on your back. And that triangle, that little gap, let's say, is where they put the stethoscope where they can actually hear you breathing. So that's what they're looking for. When they put their stethoscope on your back, they're looking for the triangle of auscultation. Bet you didn't know that. I didn't know that, so... Now we both know. Another cool thing that we learned that I thought was cool was called a referral pain. Imagine your guts, you know, you have your heart, lungs, um, stomach, intestines. These are your viscera. And these are innervated by your visceral nerves. You know, who would have thunk? But the pain you feel from these kind of areas, your organs, is really general, kind of not localized, kind of like a, you know, tummy ache kind of feel. And your skin, your muscles, your limbs, they're innervated, innervated by your somatic system. And this is like sharp pain where you can like tell where you're being touched, tell where the pain is. The interesting thing is, is that the nerve endings from your visceral and your somatic, sometimes they meet up at the same spot in your spine and they can activate each other. What does this have to do with medicine, you say? The biggest example is when someone has a heart attack and their heart starts to send pain signals the nerve for the heart actually is really close to the nerve for your left arm. So that's why when people have a heart attack, their left arm starts to be in pain. So now you know. A pain that we feel like in our limbs, our skin, can actually be indicative of something else going on in our body. That was pretty cool. First week of medical school, we're already learning things that are really interesting, really cool to see, to understand. I'm excited to keep going, keep learning. It's gonna be hard, I know that. But, you know, 10 years from now, you can either be a doctor or you cannot be a doctor. You're still gonna be 10 years older, but what do you wanna be, you know? Up to you. Wish me luck in week two, cause I'm gonna need it, and I'm gonna be studying like crazy. Subscribe, stick around.
Good luck and have a great day.